Hey there, this is Matt Filio at uh, Studio with Fine Art by Matt Filio. Um, here in the Artisan Forge Studios building in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And just continuing on this uh, portrait I'm working on, um, a still life of the five loaves and two fishes. And this is a illustration that's gonna be done for a book. Um, it's a uh, client of mine, actually, he's a book publisher and then an author is um, doing a book on the commentary of, of Mark, or it's a commentary of the Gospel of Mark in the New Testament. And so I'm doing an illustration for that. And just been working on getting the final details done. I had a previous video where it could have been called more or less done. Um, but I wanted to add some more nuances, more details, um, just to make sure that when I get into the painting process, I really have um, a good template, a good blueprint, or a good foundation uh, to start the painting with. And so I've been using some colored pencils for this process, um, basically earth tones, um, like uh, burn ochre and terracotta and sepia and uh, you can see some of them are getting quite short <laughs> so um, they have been using quite a bit of it here to get the uh, lead within the texture of the canvas uh, I'm gonna switch over to the other camera you can see it a little better uh, you probably can't see the whole thing I could lift it up just a bit just a bit and uh, let's see, set this in here to prop that up so you can actually see the whole thing. Um, but we're getting very close. I was putting in some texture of the fish and the last thing I'm gonna do is just add some shading on the bottom. And you might wonder, well, why are you doing shading um, with a painting? You know, is this a drawing or a painting? Well. It's going to be a painting, but I, I like to, I started off doing drawings and got into painting back in high school. Um, but I think I'm always going to be a uh, drawer at heart, even though I find that uh, doing paintings is a, a versatile way, a very effective way of producing an image in color that has a lot of impact and can tell a nice story. Um, I used to do colored pencil drawings, and uh, I like colored pencil, but it, it takes a long, long time to get the layers required to get a picture. Not that I'm opposed to that, um, but I found that paint, you know, with the size of some of the images I do being four by six feet and even murals, um, I love doing paintings. But in order to get the foundation, you do have to have a nice drawing underneath. And so that's what we're establishing right now. And just finishing up the details here. Um, so my original photo, you can see I have, um, have it gridded off. And I took this uh, photo, by the way, um, went to the supermarket and bought some fish and chips. <laughs> I bought some fish and some flatbread and the basket and I had a towel and I uh, put it all together and actually um, use that as the reference for us. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see it. And um, yeah, so tilapia fish, flatbread, which would have been pretty authentic in that time period. Uh, 2000 years ago, that would have been the kind of fish in the Mediterranean and flatbread would have been used in that era, not the uh, wonder bread or you know, the kind of bread you buy at the store today, um, but it would have been flatbread loaves. And um, Jesus fed the 5,000 people with the five loaves and two fishes. So anyway, um, using that as a template and just finishing it up here, got a few more details to do. I was working on the background, getting some of the texture in. And so by doing the shading, getting some of the values in, I'll know exactly how to tackle this when I get into the painting part of it. I'll know exactly where to put my initial 
um, glazes because I use a translucent glazing technique uh, using acrylic paint and thin thinning it out with matte medium, clear matte medium, and um, just building up the, the painting layer by layer. And so I'll know exactly how to get this done by getting the shading in. So I'm going to put in a little more shadows up here representing some texture of the ground. It's easy enough to make these decisions here in the pencil. I'm not going to get it too precise, but kind of use a side technique, cover a little more distance. And uh, just so that I have some of the same elements up here as I had down there, I'll do a little textural work up on the top. Not getting every detail, but just, just some different things happening. Just a few different things. So I have pencil going in some different directions. It's nice to have your pencil strokes going in an opposite direction from the, um, the strokes that represent the foreground. So if you have the background um, and the foreground where they separate, you see how I have the foreground with a stroke in this direction. It's good to make then the background contrasting values have strokes going perpendicular to the foreground strokes, which isn't what I'm trying to do. And that gives it just a little more visual separation I've found. Just pretend there's some grassy things going on here. Put in the texture of the grass and make it fun and interesting. I'm not going to worry about copying the picture too precisely for this part of it, but just get a general idea. Let's get a general idea. You can see I have some contrast that contrast developing um, because this is a darker value than the lighter value of the towel and the basket. Develop some shadows up here on the top. Just make it a little abstracted, nothing too crazy. Bring it down a little bit so you can see it. And that's about it. And so we will call this finished. I might refine a couple of things in it, but um, I'm going to basically call this finished. And so with this, we can move into the painting process. Um, and that's really all there is to it. So hope you enjoy this little video um, showing sketching technique with colored pencil using the grid. And uh, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my art e updates where you can learn some tips and tutorials on how to do some incredible acrylic portraits and paintings. Um, mattfilio.com. So go to mattfilio.com and I'll send you videos and other lessons uh, right to your inbox. So enjoy, have a blessed time painting, and we'll see you again.